What if cervical cancer screening didn't require a doctor's visit? Well, that could soon be possible since the American Cancer Society just approved a new FDA at home HPV self test, but there are some caveats to it. So let's get into it. HPV causes most cervical cancer, which really makes it a key first step in screening. So who do these new guidelines apply to? Women with no history of cervical cancer or certain precancers. Doctors say cervical cancer is highly preventable, but every single year, nearly 13,000 women are diagnosed diagnosed with it. That's why the goal of this at-home testing is to remove barriers and get more women screened. The biggest kind of, you know, patient barriers are, you know, historically kind of underserved patients, otherwise low or no insurance, uh, no access or limited access to providers, fear around, um, the, you know, the actual pelvic exam, prior trauma or prior um, experience in the past with that. Women who test positive at home will need follow-up care, and if you test negative, doctors recommend repeat screening in three years.